Hello, I'm here with Barani. Could you open up your badge, please? So I get your name on there film. There you go. There you go. So, you before we turn the camera on, we talked a bit about a project you found interesting. You um you talked about a case of transboundary water resources uh, and a cooperation between Angola and Namibia, right? Yes, yeah. I did talk about. Can the, you tell me about the project? The project is uh, is between Angola and Namibia on the Kunene, which borders the two countries. They're basically taking water from the Angola part of the Kunene to supply Namibia and take um, use the hydropower on the same river, but from Nam from the Namibia part of the Kunene and supply both Namibia and Angola. So it's two countries coming together, sharing a resource, making sure that everybody gets what they need without necessarily having the environment. Okay, that sounds really, really interesting. But, but as to me, Namibia and Angola seems to be two very different countries. There must be a big contrast between them. Can you can you describe that? Well, they, they are two quite distinct countries in that Namibia was became independent in about 1990 and it's, they didn't have a civil war. Of course they fought for apartheid and everything but they didn't have a civil war. Then you've got Angola which had a civil war and it's just coming out of there and it's mushrooming and developing. So you've got a, a proper developing country on one side and a more developed country on the other side but coming together to really work on something that is quite unique, I, I think. So even though you have these differences, they managed to get a cooperation going? Oh yeah, they managed to get a cooperation going and it's going and this project is now at like they've done the designs, that it's at a tender stage, so we're really excited about it and we're hoping that everything will work. <laughs> so what do you see as the main challenges for, for a project of this sort? Oh, the main challenge would be, uh, I suppose because you're talking about two different governments, they would have to work together in their different bureaucratic systems, so maybe it takes a bit longer for things to get done. But they will get done. It's a process issue because everyone is actually fired up and geared to get them done. So, but that's the main challenge. Things take a bit longer because you have to deal with two different bureaucratic systems, yeah. because two different governments. So this uh, sounds like a very successful example and a very encouraging one. It's encouraging indeed. Success so far, yes, there's been success and we are waiting for the, we are anticipating a lot more success when the project is actually implemented and it's quite encouraging for static in general and other regions for all the other river, uh, all the other countries that share a river. It's a case of benefit sharing as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, I look forward to, to hearing more, more about it in the future. And uh, thank you for, for coming to the Water Cube to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>